X4. I've been waiting for you. Sorry to have held you up. Try and keep up from here out. Our targets are inside. Four synths under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in, secure the synths, and I relay out with them back to the Institute. Clear? The mission's parameters just changed. We're going shooting. Requesting backup relay now.
Please go check out sensor reading detected. A regrettable occurrence. Attacking enemy. Terminated. I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. F-633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta-62 Arcus. Here they are. God, it's a Corsair. Oh, no. Issue the reset codes and we'll relay back to the Institute. Time is critical. You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just, just don't. B-257, initiate reset. Authorization code Theta-93 Stratus. 
No sudden moves. Please, no. Y915, initiate reset. Authorization code Beta 77 Tempest. All right, Sin. Please. Z322, initiate reset. Authorization code Gamma 49 Typhoon. That's all of them. Objective complete. Return to the town. Make sure all hostiles have been eliminated. I will relay the synths back to the Institute. Report to Father upon your return, and... Good work. I hear that rogue sent the Vitalia, a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. I wouldn't be here, not for your son. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It's not so bad, really. People manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here, 
I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They left me on ice. For 60 years. They did. And for good reason. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. You could have let me out decades ago. Until I became director, I had no idea you were there. And after, there was initially no logical reason to do so. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be re-purposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. There's always a risk. It was worth it. I'm glad you see it that way. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting. And you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen you now. It's time to go back in. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important. I think it's time we begin. Sir, 
Excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, uh... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on Phase 3? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? I don't think so. It's all right. I wouldn't expect you to have. The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. In this world, I'm sure compromise is necessary. Quite right. For far too long, we've been dependent on others. On our surroundings, that time is over. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Sounds like an important step. That's... well... That's an understatement. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please. As I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. We don't usually welcome outsiders. I 
hope you can appreciate your good fortune. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Fon. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Absolutely. All right, let's go over the details. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the mass fusion building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. That sounds dangerous. Any place above ground has its risks, but that's why you're in charge. You're there to protect me. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Sure is here. Guess we'll have to go through them. Right here.
Let's hope the Brotherhood hasn't beaten us to the agitator. Going down. out. Don't think I can pick this. Hacking this is beyond me.
This one bit. I must be daydreaming. Heck, what was that? Well, isn't this fun? There's the reactor. Not a bad piece of work for its time. Hacking this is beyond me. Radiation back in those days. Levels are almost off the charts. I'll monitor things from here.
they're beaten, do they? I'll help the synths buy some time. Make sure you get back to the Institute with the Agitator. Rogue synth at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. All maintenance requests should be directed to the facilities division. The Institute is my life. I hope it'll be yours, too. Dr. Fillmore. I think that was enough excitement for, well, ever. Thank you, really. Couldn't have managed it without you. I'll make sure the agitator gets where it needs to go. I understand Father is anxious to get you involved in something else. You'd better not keep him waiting. A clean and healthy work environment is essential to lack.
funktioniert. Yes, thank you, Doctor. I think that will be all for now. But I haven't quite finished. I believe we're done now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. We handled them just fine. That's what Dr. Fillmore reported. I'm quite pleased at the results. It would have been a terrible setback to lose that technology to those savages. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however given their pension for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause, but by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you. Regardless, the Brotherhood is an issue for the future, and we must focus on the present. And look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Whatever it is, I can take care of it. I certainly hope so. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. If I've done something to jeopardize the Institute, I'll fix it. You have my word. I have no doubt that you will. But it's nothing quite so dire. While you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to... invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your Minutemen. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation, but it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. They'll listen to me. I'll figure something out. You can consider this handled. Believe me, I already do. On here. You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go. What just happened? Something's out there.
What's going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? I'm not sure you know what's going on here. This situation is... complicated. Oh, I know exactly what's going on. These assholes think they can kidnap whoever they want, whenever they want. Well, not today. Not while we're here. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure them out here, since it'd be easier to kill them. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place, to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? What do you know about the person who lives here? Not too much. Wallace is his name. Kind of an egghead type, but real squirrely. Keeps to himself. We've checked in on him every now and then, but he didn't seem to want the company. So, we moving in or what? No one is gonna do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? If we don't do something now, they're gonna take that poor guy... wherever it is they go. And we'll have failed. Again. Are you gonna order the attack or not? I'm giving you an order, soldier. Maybe you don't understand. This ain't the military, and I don't have to take orders from you. What are you so against this? You do know which side you're on, don't you? You sure you're willing to risk being wrong about this? I'm tired of risking things. I'm tired of risking lives. And that's why I'm not letting them take this guy. If you're not with us, then you best get the hell out of here before we take you down as one of them. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah? Yeah? you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. Everything's taken care of. You're safe. Good. Good. It was bad enough that Wallace started giving us trouble, but then he called in those savages. Those are good men out there. You have no right to insult them like that. Those good men of yours wanted to kill me. Forgive me for not thinking terribly highly of them. Can we just get on with this, please? I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Why did the Institute send you specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him. To see if he was institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. No argument from me. Let's go. Right. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. No problem. I'm sure I can get him to see reason. I hope so. We really need him. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Please, try and relax. I know this is an unusual situation. No! 
You're here to kidnap me. That's what you people do, isn't it? If you even are people. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. What can I say to convince you that we're not going to hurt you? That you're leaving and never coming back. Right. We're here to steal your kidneys and your memories. That's why I'm wasting time talking to you through the door. That's not funny. None of this is funny. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. If I wanted to talk, I wouldn't be in here. Now just, just go away. Just shut up and listen to me. We're not here to hurt you. But if you make this difficult, you're going to regret it. See? I knew it! You're here to kill me. Okay, look, we're out of time here. Institute, this is Dr. Thompson. I'm sorry, I'm gonna need a synth relay to my coordinates offset by 5.3 to subdue our subject. I appreciate your help with the situation Greetings, outside. Sir. But we have to get this man back to the Institute. I expect Father will want a report from you. express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The Facilities Division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play. And I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth. To request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. What kind of announcement are we talking about? A broadcast. An announcement to the Commonwealth that the Institute is not to be trifled with. As the incoming director, that responsibility naturally falls to you. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Father. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It is true. But it is not the whole truth. We're here, and we are. The future. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your personal freedoms. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in tragedy for all involved. Rest easy. Know that the future is out of your control and that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Well, wow, that was interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. 
Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? I could use some fresh air. A quaint phrase. Though I'm afraid the air there is anything but fresh. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcast, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then.